Hi, good morning, everyone. I am Joe Moss. I'm one of the principals of JTM Food Group. I'm also a member of the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce. And we're here this morning to talk to Brian from Bud Herbert Motors to talk about their business and how they uh, contribute to the Harrison community. Joe, we've been in Harrison now since 1984. Uh, my grandfather uh, and uncle purchased the land in 1984 and they uh, built a pole barn and opened their second location. So we've really been in Harrison for a long time. Um, it was mostly farmland and now it's very built up, uh, very different. Uh, Harrison has been very welcoming over the years and, and is part of our success over the years. Indeed, I so JTM came to Harrison in 1983, and my dad bought a lawn tractor uh, in here from here probably right after you yeah. just opened. Yeah, from my grandpa. Uh, in, in and around 1984 uh, to mow the grass at JTM. So okay. uh, you, our families have been connected uh, for uh, many, many decades many now, years. and it's been a great relationship. Um, talk a little bit of, about the history of how Bud Herbert. Uh, who who was Bud Herbert, mm -hmm. how all this was founded. Uh, even if you don't mind, uh, we talked a little bit before this uh, recording uh, that it actually sort of started as a furniture business. It did. So um, my great, great, great grandfather, he uh, immigrated from Germany and he settled down in Cincinnati in the late 1800s and his profession was furniture building. So. He actually was a very progressive furniture builder. He had a, um, a factory down in Northside um, and he made his own furniture. He imported furniture from around the United States and sold it. Um, basically, his, his one of his mottos was he sold it, he was in the country and he could sell the furniture cheaper than the stores in the inner city. So Northside was, you know, yes, obviously a suburb. Yes, yes. At that so, time. Um, later on, one of the brothers, there were brothers in the business, um, and, and one of them went off into sell cars uh, down at our current location down in Northside on Spring Grove Avenue. So they sold Crosleys and DeSotos and Chryslers and, um, and uh, they, for, for many years, and uh, there were more family in the business, and uh, that was the, the gentleman that um, my great-great-grandfather was John Herbert. He was the one with the car dealership. And he, uh, one of his sons was Bud, um, what's the business is named after now. And during World War II, they couldn't get cars. And, and to survive um, and continue through, they started selling uh, primitive lawn and garden equipment. So they were very little tractors and, and powered push mowers and so forth. Um, they sold some farm machinery down in Spring Grove, believe it or in Northside, which believe it or not out uh, for people. Um, and then in the in the 80s, we became a John Deere dealer and we look very much like we do today um, with our product lines with Steel and John Deere and Xmark. Um, and the business has continued to grow. So, so Brian, uh, talk a little bit about the uh, current Herbert family members that are involved with the organization as a whole. Well, uh, we still have quite a few family members involved in the business. Um, I have my great uncle uh, that is the uh, third generation is still working in the business. He's uh, uh, comes in every day and, and, and uh, really helps out with everything. Um, that's that, Tom. That's Tom. And then I have uh, Tom has a son, John, that is in the business. Um, he's he and, and then I have an uncle, Jim, that is uh, the, the um, president of the company. Um, they both work down at our store in Northside. And then on from that, I have an aunt that manages the office work, Connie. Um, I have a, uh, my grandmother still works in the business. She's uh, in her late 80s and still works twice a week. Um, and then I have a brother, my, my younger brother, which is a couple years younger than me. He does a lot of outside sales down at our, our Northside store and sells to the, the, the um, like I said, the universities and the the uh, cities and then commercial customers that make a living with the products that we sell. That's a, that's a great family legacy. And we love to, we love to hear those kind of stories. Yeah. Brian. And how many employees do you employ here in this shop alone? We have about 10 to 12 uh, employees, depending it fluctuates during the, during the season. And so, and how many at the uh, North side? Location? They have about 20 down there. So about so. 30, people we uh, do. is what is within Bud Herbert Motors. Yes. 
you know, quite the thriving business for a, mm -hmm. for a, a farm implement and lawn and garden uh, operation. The service that you provide to this community is valuable. Uh, you guys do a great job at Bud Herbert Motors, and I'm, uh, I'm glad that you guys are all here. Yeah. Well, we're involved in the community for sure. Um, we've been we've done the parade down in Harrison quite a few times. Yes, uh, we sponsor the uh, 4-H fair down in Stricker's Grove, which we love. We take equipment down and we usually have a big uh, corn box for the kids to play in. Um, and we have a, a, a large open house um, usually uh, in the fall um, that is really geared towards kids and, and the equipment that we have and, and showing it. and having fun. We do hay rides and pumpkin rides and, and, and all that good stuff. So um, we really, really have enjoyed being in Harrison and it's just a perfect match for our family. It really is. Well, we'd certainly appreciate it that you're a member of the Harrison, the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce. And um, we've uh, done well growing the chamber over the years that we started somewhere around 10 years ago. And I think it's important that the businesses uh, have some a way to communicate with each other to help sure. to help to make sure that we all thrive and yes. be happy. Well, thank you, Brian, very much for your time. I very much uh, appreciate that you were able to show the community of Harrison what it is that Bud Herbert Motors does. And I can tell you from my st my own personal standpoint, I appreciate <laughs> what you do. It's 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 been uh, awesome to have somebody that I could count on uh, when I have a need for my equipment to work. Well, we appreciate it too. And, and we appreciate all the customers in Harrison because it really, uh, they're part of our success for sure. Uh, they're, they're, they're great to deal with and, and uh, it's growing. Uh, the, the community is growing by leaps and bounds. So that's exciting. It is exciting. Thank yes. you.